ASB President Isabella de Grande will offer the formal welcome on behalf of Sequoia High School students. Good morning, everyone. As your student body president, I welcome friends, family, staff, trustees, and fellow graduates to Sequoia High School's graduation of the class of 2021. It is an honor to stand before you and speak on behalf of our student body. Before I get too far into this, I couldn't have gone up here and spoke without thanking you. Yes, all of you. Of course, parents and guardians, shout out to mine, who have been a rock in our lives. Relatives who waited ever so patiently for updates, supported our every move, friends who we laughed, cried, and screamed with while studying or waiting for a grade, and even those who we may not have been able to know so personally. Your smiles in the hallway or asking a question when everyone else was too afraid to has helped mine and others' lives greatly. And of course, our teachers, you've inspired us in so many ways. I can promise you, I wouldn't be here today if it weren't for you all. You've impacted our lives in ways you may not know. Thank you for the endless lessons and the unwavering support. I appreciate you greatly. To be honest, it's weird to see everyone here today. I mean, my last full year of high school was my sophomore year, and now here we are graduating, wearing our caps and gowns for the next chapter of our lives. I'm thinking back to 2008, to a hot summer day in August where the sun was out and tensions were high. Four-year-old me, yes, four, was nervous and excited and didn't know what to expect. I searched around looking for familiar faces and finding a few. Today was a huge deal. It's not every day you get to start kindergarten. I was just a small little girl with her two front teeth missing, backpack on her shoulders, and curiosity in her mind. Where will I go? Who will I meet? What will I do? These thoughts consumed my little brain and added to the worries and anxieties about my first day. Some of those unfamiliar faces would soon become my closest friends and change my life in so many ways. I remember holding my parents tight, hugging them, the edges of their eyes wet with tears, proud of their little girl, unsure of the future, but excited to watch her grow. When I pulled away from their grasp, I wasn't four years old anymore. I'm 17, it's June 2021. I'm in my cap and gown saying goodbye before I take my seat and watch those same closest friends from another time get their high school diplomas. The similarities strike me. We're all still their little kids, wide-eyed, excited, nervous, and unsure of the future. But beneath the surface, I know we've all changed a lot. And if I've learned something at Sequoia, it's that we need to celebrate those changes and differences, those struggles we overcame, those relationships we forged, and those new things we discovered about who we really are. We've all been through a lot. We've endured struggles that no other class has endured. And we've triumphed over hardships that no other class has triumphed. We are all wiser, more complete, and better prepared to take on the world because of it. This race is done. We have run and we have won. Tomorrow, we'll tow the starting line again, each eyeing our own unique finish line in the distance. Bright-eyed with eager anticipation, just as we once were on our first day of kindergarten, unsure of the future, but confident in our capabilities. But today, Let's bask in the glow of victory. Let's share this moment with those who shared in the journey. And most of all, let's feel what it really truly feels like to succeed. Class of 2021, congratulations on a race well run. We worked hard and we did it. Now I welcome senior class president, Olivia Meek, who will deliver a message to the class and as his Sequoia tradition for over a hundred years, pass the lamp of learning on to the next class. <laughs> 